Let's talk about the stencils. So here I've clicked them on my right palette. And if I click on one of those alphas, I'll get a preview, so a preview overlay. So here we have now this option box to play around. So if I click over there, I have extra options to modify. I can change the preview, the contrast, and you know, I can play around with that. Then we have this grid dot in the middle. If I right click on that, it will give me this option that I can then um, modify if I can, I can you know, change the proportions of this thing. If I, I click on one of those arrows, I can rotate it. If I click one of those, uh, I can just move it across, make it bigger or smaller. And if I need to, if I need to reset it, I'll just click over there and it will get it all reset. So then we have the option. Um, you can turn off the tiling so it will be just this stencil right here and then we have an option to turn it or to turn the whole uh, overlay on and off then some locking thing which i've honestly never used and a couple of these options are over here they're for texturing not really applicable for just using the stencil so once you have it here you know you can just uh, use walk side i can drag and uh, uh, like uh, shape a rectangular and I get it all hidden or I can go inverted say it was inverted so if I click on stencil modulate uh, and, then, and then I go hide it we get the holes through and you can get pretty creative with this and hide a lot of stuff and get some really complex shapes that are pretty much impossible of doing in any other way and don't forget, this has all been just hidden. So if, then I can press Control and unhide it for better effect.